Everyone thinks it takes pilots only a couple of years to pay back a pilot loan. Nothing is further from the truth as it takes the average pilot at least 20 years to repay or pay back his or her pilot loan. 20 years? You're not going to walk that path and let your future depend on a company which could be profiting today and bankrupt tomorrow, right? Or what about an unexpected dip in the market? A pandemic, perhaps? No, exactly. You're not going to let that happen. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video, which is brought to you by Squarespace. I hope you're all doing great today. In the first part of this video, I will tell you more about why financial freedom is important. And in the second part of this video, I will tell you how to create financial freedom and learn from the mistakes I made so you don't have to. Take a moment to imagine yourself in a situation where you enjoy full financial freedom. What would your dream life look like? Would you be flying in the Maldives, flying four sectors a day, or would you be supporting companies that help change the world long after you are gone? Honestly, what would you be doing on a day like this? It's important to know and to be conscious about it as most people are so caught up in this rat race called society that they have never really thought about it for more than a second. So let's say your absolute dream life consists mainly of flying planes. But what would happen if for whatever reason you can't do that anymore? When the economy is taking a hit, owners of business jets are the first to sell their aircraft. The pilots flying on those jets will lose their jobs overnight. And the same can count for many airlines with uh, too many pilots. The company could even go bankrupt. Look at the situation we are in now. Pilots that thought their jobs were secure now realize that they never really were. And the situation might force them to travel to the other side of the world in order to work and be able to pay their bills. Working on the other side of the world is absolutely great when it's because you want to, but not when you have no other choice. Obviously, that doesn't count for all pilots, but if you do end up in a situation where you lose your income as a pilot, you would do well to have a solid backup. Unfortunately, most pilots don't have a backup and realize this when it's too late. A solid backup is also a way to accelerate repayment of the forever taking pilot loan. Enough said about why. Let's talk about how. Nowadays, there are more self-made millionaires than ever before. And this is because we are living in an information age in which anyone with a laptop and internet connection can achieve financial freedom. Most successful people on this planet have at least five different sources of income. So the goal should always be to create multiple income streams. Let's discuss a couple of opportunities that I've come across during my career so far. That way you can learn some exciting possibilities, learn from my mistakes and become motivated to move your ass. Let's start with the side business. A side business enables you to become financially independent and is something you can do alongside your aviation career. There are a couple of things you should know, so I created some steps to get you started. By the way, if you're still watching and like this kind of videos, please consider a thumbs up or subscribing to this channel. And that way I know which kind of videos to make in the future. Step number one, believe in yourself and be authentic. If you believe you can build a successful business, you will, but the opposite is also true. Step number two, what is something you are extremely interested in, good at, or like doing? Take a moment to really think about this. Let your mind run freely and write down all your ideas in a mind map. This will create a clear overview of all the opportunities. For example, I like writing, I like creating, and I like to help people like yourself about things I've dealt with. I have experience with aviation, so this is what I talk about. Step number three. Now that you have a clear image of what you are good at or like doing, simply Google how to make money online and start expanding your horizon. There are people who are not even as half as smart as you are and still are able to build a multi-million dollar business. Motivation, perseverance, learning from mistakes and getting back, back up again is what made them succeed. And if you do the same, it's just a matter of time before financial freedom knocks on your door. And remember, it's okay to make mistakes. I made a mistake back in 2014 to start a YouTube channel focused on makeup. I thought it was going to be easy, but I simply wasn't motivated enough and thus never made a single makeup related video. However, it did spark an interest to create aviation videos later on. So you could say, that it's important to just start and see where it takes you. Step number four, take an idea from your mind map and think about, oh, 
way a possible business would look like in your case. Either through a service, social media, e-commerce, affiliate marketing, the options are endless. Step five, build your business around it. Think about a name for your business, register the domain name and accounts on social media platforms. And last but not least, create a website. One of the easiest and cheapest ways to create a website is by using Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. I'm currently using Squarespace to build a website for female pilots. And even though I am not a web developer, I can create a modern website that is also mobile friendly by using their customizable templates. I also love the feature to automatically connect social media accounts to my website. That way you stay informed while I save myself some extra time and effort. Another amazing option is the ability to create a community on your Squarespace website, which you can combine with e-commerce capabilities and tools to make you manage your inventory, uh, promote products and ship items across the globe. And if by now you're thinking about creating a website, you could go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash dutchpilotgirl to save 10% off your first purchase on a website or domain. And the link is in the description box below. Remember, building a side business requires motivation, perseverance, and long time dedication long time, long term dedication. Only then you'll be able to build something that is solid enough to serve as a backup. Ideally, you want to create something where your presence is not really needed in the long run. If you create a product or service that can be purchased online, it will sell whether you are flying or enjoying your off days. But designing handcrafted jewelry or providing one-on-one -on -one coaching is far more time consuming, unless you hire people to do the tasks for you. You might be thinking, what about creating a YouTube channel? Making YouTube videos is nice, but it requires a lot of planning and it's really time consuming, especially if you're working full time. I've come to realize this and actually find it hard to combine the two. In my days off, I find it hard to relax due to the number of things I have going on regarding this side business. So keep this in mind when you think about starting a side business yourself. If you're able to launch a successful business, you can always decide to sell it when you need some additional money to make ends meet. The skills and knowledge you've acquired to build your business cannot be taken away from you, which is why it's one of the best investments of your life. You sold your business today, tomorrow you start a new one. Now that we've talked about side businesses, there are other ways to create financial freedom. Investing in stocks and real estate, for example. I'm investing in exchange traded funds, also known as ETFs, and I'm planning to do so on a monthly basis. It takes almost no effort, which is why I consider it to be passive income, which grows slowly over time due to compound interest. It's important to get rid of your debts before you start investing though, especially if the interest rate on your debt is high. If creating a business and investing isn't something you're interested in, you can always consider working part-time as a pilot and taking another job. I've come across pilots that work as a dentist or a lawyer, and some even drive buses. They were all extremely happy with their jobs and loved the fact that they were able to combine them. Besides the financial freedom, I definitely did not want to be in constant debt due to my pilot loan plus interest, which took forever to repay. Everyone thinks that as an airline pilot, it's easy to pay back your pilot loan of 150,000 euros. But the truth is that most pilots spent at least 20 years to pay back that loan. And it was a road I wasn't willing to take. My side business gave me the financial freedom I was looking for, not the pilot job. And you can do exactly the same or do even better. Coming back to the question, what would you be doing if you had full financial freedom? If that's still flying planes, then great, but if for whatever reason you can't do that anymore, then what else? Are you currently running a side business or is there anything you thought about? I would love to hear more about it, so make sure to leave a comment below. During the first hours after publication of this video, I try to respond to as many comments as possible. I hope to have inspired you to take action and start a side hustle yourself. Even if I just planted a little seed inside your head and you start years and years later. That's totally fine with me. And remember, your health should always be your number one priority. I mean, I think it's obvious, but I just say it, you know, just in case. So don't let your future or financial independence depend on the company you work for. I honestly can go on and on about the things I've learned. So if you'd like me to create more videos about this topic, like this video so I know you do. I hope to see you around guys and check out my Instagram for daily posts and stories about my 
Aviation Life. Consider subscribing to my channel and turn on the notification bell to not miss any of my future videos. So thank you so much again for watching and see you in the next video, guys. Bye bye. I also have to go now real quick because I have a flight to Tenerife and I have to change. And um, okay, I talk to you later, guys. Bye bye.